Hello everyone, I hope all is well. This is Justin with DKC Realty Group. Thank you for joining us today. Woo! We're up to episode eight in the How to Sell a Home series. I'm running out of these fingers fast. This is picking the best offer. So we've done a bunch of showings. We've had our open house or open houses. And now if we were priced right and we've been marketing aggressively, we should have multiple offers to review considering the market conditions. So now that we have multiple offers to review, we gotta sit down and review. And you need to pick the offer that you feel is best for you or ask everyone that bid it to submit another offer, which we'll call highest and best. We were asking people to submit an offer with their highest price and their best terms. But before we do that, let's break down the components of an offer so you know what you should be looking at. Now, of course, your real estate professional will review this with you, but some background knowledge ain't gonna hurt. So let's get started. First thing, of course, is price. We're gonna be checking all the offers to see what prices the buyers are offering. Is the price what you want? Is it what you need? Is it more than you want? So we'll review them all, of course. That's an easy criteria to use to help filter out offers, right? Now, terms. That's the part that can get a little trickier. There's a lot of components that go into an offer. We usually just focus on price, but it's not only price. The terms are just as important, if not more important, because they can make or break a deal. So let's talk about some of these terms. First one is inspection. Will the buyer be doing an inspection? They're gonna tell us in their offer, so we know. Also, will they be looking to request any fixes or price reductions from the inspection? So someone can say, hey, I'm gonna do an inspection, but I'm gonna take the house as it is. Maybe we even marketed it as that initially, as is purchase. So they're not really looking to request anything from you after their inspection, but they're looking just to make sure the house meets the standards they have and have peace of mind when purchasing it. That's less work for you if someone's doing an inspection, okay? So that's one thing. Second thing, type of financing that someone's gonna be using to purchase your home. So as we're looking through these offers, how are they gonna pay for it? Are they paying with cash? Well, that typically can close very, very fast. We're talking about a few weeks if everything goes smoothly. Or are they gonna be using some sort of mortgage? FHA, Sony May, conventional, VA, USDA, some hard money type of financing. Whatever it is, there's a standards that that specific mortgage product has to have met, right? When it comes to both the condition of the house and sometimes the terms of the sale and how quickly it can close. For example, if a buyer is using a conventional loan, that typically can close faster than if someone's using a Sony May loan because there's additional steps in the Sony May loan that need to be followed. So you wanna know, based off your own goals, what type of financing someone's using and what that means for the house. What conditions and standards does it have to meet and what contractual terms might be altered by the type of mortgage that a buyer is using in their offer, okay? Third thing, closing time. How quickly does this person project to close? Now, financing can often affect this, just like we mentioned, but uh, how serious and how committed and how ready does the buyer seem, right? So one of the things that I'll do for all my seller clients is I'll check with the different lenders for that, for people that submitted offers to see what their standing is. Now, of course, they have to consult with their buyers to see what information they can provide, but I just want to get the nitty gritty. For example, if someone is looking to buy your house with a mortgage, but them getting their mortgage is contingent on them selling a house they already have, well, where are they in the sale of their own house before they get to purchasing yours? So we wanna know these things ahead of time so we can see what dynamics are in play and how long it might actually play out before we can get to the closing table. Now, you might wanna take longer to close. Maybe there's some goals that you have in mind that you need to meet before you're actually ready to move out. That's okay. We can tell that to the buyers and see who's willing to do that as part of their offer. Give us the extra time that we need. Fourth thing, closing costs. Is the buyer gonna pay them out of their own pocket or are they looking to have them financed? So we wanna know if the buyer's financing their closing costs, 
that's another, let's say, complicating factor that we have to deal with when it comes to the appraisal. There's a video popping up right now going over what's called a seller's concession. That is when a buyer is looking to have their closing costs all or in part finance rather than paying it out of pocket. So check out that video for more information regarding this particular item. Number five, appraisal contingency. This is where it gets really spicy. So if it's a super competitive house, we have a lot of aggressive buyers, we sometimes run into this situation. A buyer can decide to waive their appraisal contingency, which means if they agree to buy the house for 565, it only appraises for 560, okay? So we got a $5,000 gap that the bank's not gonna cover. The buyer is saying that they will pay that additional $5,000 in cash out of their own pocket on top of the down payment they're giving and on top of their closing costs. So that's a big deal. If they'll waive it, better for you. We're more secure in that deal, assuming they have the proof of funds to back up what they're looking to do. Now, one other thing, separate from price, separate from terms, but it can make us feel more comfortable about both, is a conditional mortgage approval. Now, a lot of buyers have pre-approvals, which means a lender has checked to see that they're qualified to get a loan. Mortgage condition, a conditional mortgage approval is actually more in depth than that because now the underwriter at the bank has checked that person's file and is satisfied with most of the things there. That's why it's conditional. There's a few items remaining, but they've already inspected a lot of this person's file. They're comfortable saying that I feel that once we're in contract and we get a deal going, that this loan will close. So it gives us a little more security on our end if we can see that a buyer has that. A little more in depth than a pre-approval, a little more security on our end can make an offer stand out just a little bit more. And sometimes we're just talking about the margins, little tiny margins when it comes to deciding between offers. All right? Now, this is just a smattering of many of the items that come up when you're reviewing offers. Ideally, you have a ton of offers to review at this point, and you can sit down with your real estate professional and go through all of them in detail. Sometimes you might need to consult with your attorney if there's any contractual specific terms that come up as well. But you have the power, you have the choice. Do you wanna take one offer from the ones that you receive? Do you wanna counter a few of the offers? Do you wanna ask everyone to submit a second offer with their highest price and best terms? and see how competitive it really is for your house, it's up to you. But once you do accept that offer, we can start moving forward in the deal. Now, we're gonna assume that the buyer is able to do an inspection, we're assuming. So that's what we're gonna be covering next week in episode nine, it's inspection time. In the meantime, there's more videos for you here. Check them out, they're popping up above. You can also see more in the comments and descriptions below. The hashtag, JSBXHomes. We're all over the socials, so you can find us wherever you go. And you can subscribe to this channel. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, you got the little icon there, three weekly videos regarding real estate, including the how to sell and how to buy a home series. And thank you for joining us. Truly appreciate you, and I hope you have a great day.